Naomi, could you tell us what is an EGFR mutation in lung cancer? Sure. So an EGFR mutation is a mutation in the gene called EGFR. It's a gene that we all have on our normal cells, but it's also very, very important in, in many different cancers, including non-small cell lung cancer. It's fairly common. It's thought to occur in about 15 to 20% of lung cancers, especially lung adenocarcinomas. It does tend to happen or be present more so in people who have never smoked or in women. And it's actually quite prevalent or common in Asia, more so than in the United States or Europe. There are two important in EGFR mutations to start. One is a mutation in, a, in exon 19 of the EGFR gene, and the other is in exon 21. And so if you hear about EGFR mutation, most of the time we're talking about those two particular mutations. However, there's many other EGFR mutations that can happen, and the knowledge about these other mutations is increasing all of the time. So it's important to ask about the newest discoveries and what mutations in EGFR are important. So circling back, I think it's also important to talk about why EGFR mutations are important in lung cancer and how they work. So you can think of these mutations as causing the EGFR signaling pathway, which is basically how cells talk to each other, how they talk within themselves in order to grow or divide. Um, and that control is dysregulated when the EGFR gene is mutated. And so the cancer cells can grow uncontrolled and they're very dependent on that EGFR pathway signaling. So what's good about that is we can take advantage of that and that's where EGFR targeted treatments come in.